Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we praise you, we praise you, we praise you, we praise you. Hallelujah to your name. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, thou art glorious in his own head and heart. There is none to be compared with you. We worship you, we worship you. You that rule in the eyes of men. You that opens and no man can close. You that close and no man can open. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Only my heart is Thank we you. worship you, Son of God. Thank you, Father. It's not 
not by power, it's not by mind, it's by your spirit, O God. And we are so grateful, O God, for what you have done. Thank you for your mercy that is evergreen. Thank you for day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven, day eight, day nine. O God, day ten, O God, day for the eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Hallelujah. Oh, Rabba, Lekeria, Dabura, we praise you, we praise you, we praise you. Be exalted, O Lord, above all heavens. Let your glory be seen above all the earth. They will go for answered prayers for what you have done, O Lord. We say thank you. Only my God, O God, for your sustaining power. Thank you, God Almighty, O Lord, for our strength to fast and to pray. Thank you for answered prayers. Oh, we cannot walk, we cannot walk to God. We worship the Almighty. Oh, we praise you, we praise you, we praise you. Be exalted. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to round up this as we go into the communion service. So, Apostle Albert will be leading us into this communion service. And after the communion service, we will wash our feet wherever you are you wash your feet in your house and then you are we do the anointing but we're going to go into the communion service you know to to finish the fasting that god has placed for us for 14 days the joyful fast of the fourth month okay let's welcome up as he continues to lead us god bless you all and you're all welcome to this 14th day of our fast and which marks as the final day and today we are going to end the fast with a, a holy communion but before we go into that we are just going to take a look at the word of God praise the name of the Lord Hallelujah. and we believe that something marvelous is going to happen today Amen. praise the name of the Lord Hallelujah. even as we take this communion Amen. but the first thing that today we want to know about the communion is that it is the greatest expression of God's love for his people. Amen. Is the greatest expression of God's love for his people. Amen. For Jesus to die on the cross for us, bearing all our sins. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Without even thinking twice about it, it shows that he has shown us what unconditional love. Amen. He has taken our place even for death. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And we, want, we are so grateful for that. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So it's known as the Lord's Supper and it represents, and as I say, it expresses what God's love for his people. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That he can take himself and deliver himself onto the cross to die for our sins. Sins that he did not partake of. Sins of the world that he never knew about, that he never, no, nothing was part of him. But he decided to go and die for us for, and shed his blood and forgive us of our sins permanently. So it is, first of all, God's expression of his love towards, the, of, of his, love, uh, towards his people. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Secondly, it is a command. It is a command of the Lord Jesus Christ that we partake. In the, uh, uh, in the Holy Communion. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. If you remember on that uh, Passover night, that he and the disciples were in the room, and he decided, he just at one point, he lifted up, a, uh, he took the bread, and he says, this is my body. This is my body. He says, given to you. And the Bible says he broke it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to get to the meaning of why he actually broke the bread. But he broke it and he says, take this, do this in remembrance of me. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So also he took the wine and he did say, he says, this is the wine which represents what his blood that was shed, that was poured out for the remission of sins. And he says, do this in remembrance of me. There's not many things that Jesus says, do in remembrance of me. Mm. This is one of them. This is one of the things that Jesus particularly says, do in remembrance of me. So it's a command that we are to obey. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible tells us also that it must be something that must be done often. Something that must be done often. 
So it is not a one-time thing. It is something that we must partake in, not if we possible daily. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because of the power that is in the Holy Communion, it is something that we need to take daily. Amen. Daily. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse twenty-three, uh, from twenty-three to seven. It says to twenty-six. I'm reading twenty-six. It says for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death word till He comes. Amen. For as often, for as often. So that is the main point there. For as often we are to take it what regularly, as often as we can. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That we proclaim what, as we take it, we proclaim, we announce what the death of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Till he comes. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And number three, uh, uh, another thing that uh, it uh, uh, that it represents is that it, it's a form of what? Spiritual, what I call it, immunization. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It's a way which children of God can immunize themselves from sickness and disease. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So it's a form of what? Spiritual, what? Immunization. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You know what immunization does? It guards you against diseases. Virus is everything. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And this time, at this time, we are even awaiting one. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We are awaiting the vaccine for COVID-19. And when it comes, the, you know when we know that when it comes, it's going to clear it. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But the blood of Jesus is more powerful. The blood of communion is more powerful than any vaccine or immunization that we can get. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So it acts as what if an immunization a spiritual immunization for us. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And in the process of uh, doing uh, partaking in the communion, there are two particular items that we need to look at that Jesus used in his uh, in his uh, demonstration of of the uh, holy communion. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. First of all, that would be the bread. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And the bread, the, you know, the Bible lets us know that it represents Jesus' body that was scorched and broken before and during what the uh, crucifixion. Mm. It was scorched and broken. Jesus, when he was on earth, his body was pure and perfect. Mm. But when it came to the time of going to the cross, we all know what Jesus suffered mm. carrying the cross. Right up to that point where he was what crucified. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. His body was scorched. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. His body was broken in every form. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We know that his body was scorched. You know that everything that had to do with what pain and suffering, Jesus suffered. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's why he took the bread. The whole bread he took and he broke it. And he broke it before he gave it to them. Letting them know that what this is what how my body will be broken. This is how my body will be scourged. This is how my body will suffer pain as I go to the cross. So he says, do this in remembrance of pain. And as you take the bread, one thing that you must remember is what the pain and suffering that what Jesus uh, went, uh, 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 that he, he suffered, that he suffered on going to the cross. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. If you remember that word in Isaiah uh, chapter 53, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And verse, uh, I will just uh, uh, read verse 4. It says, what? Surely he has borne our griefs mm. and carried what? Our sorrow. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. If you go to the Young's uh, literal translation, he says what? Surely our sicknesses had been, he had borne, and our pains he has what? He has carried them. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. On going to the cross, every kind of sickness, every kind of pain was dumped on Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. All our pains, all our sufferings, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He took them onto the cross. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bible says what he was wounded for what? Our transgressions. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He was wounded for our transgressions. 
He was wounded. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He was wounded. He took that pain. So when we take the bread, what the representation of it, when he broke it, he says, this is the way that my body will be broken for you, mm. for you, for your own deliverance. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So it's very, very important that we understand that. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 8 verse 17 says, He himself took our infirmities and bore our what sicknesses. He himself what took our infirmities unto him as he was going on to the cross. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. And he what bore all our sicknesses. Bore all our sicknesses. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why as a child of God, you are supposed and I mean you are you are you are supposed to live a life free of sickness and free of disease. Mm. Because the Bible says, by his stripes, what? We are healed. Every stripe that Jesus took before he went onto that cross represents one sickness or the other. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Has a root. Every sickness has a root to that stripe. And it was taken by Jesus. The Bible talks about the chastisement what of our peace. The chastisement what of our peace. So that means that anything that that uh, uh, has been programmed to disturb your peace. Mm. Jesus has already taken it. Amen. Jesus has already taken it. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus has already taken it when he went onto the cross. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's a thing that we must remember that when we are taking the bread, his body, it represents his body that was broken on the cross for our own deliverance, for our own freedom. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Second thing, what is the wine? Is the wine. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And it's, it's represented in Luke chapter 22 as the cup, which represents what his blood that was what shed on the cross. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The Bible says, for there cannot be what forgiveness, the, uh, I mean, without the remission of, uh, uh, without, without the shedding, shedding of blood, there is no remission of what sins. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That is why in the days when of, of when the children of Israel were about to what be released from what uh, uh, from Egypt, the blood has to be what placed on what their doorpost mm. to what cover them, just to cover all their so that when the destroyer is coming, it will not destroy them. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Amen. How much more the blood of Jesus, mm. if that can, the blood of animals can protect the people from the destroyer, how much more what the blood of Jesus? How much more the blood of Jesus? Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. It can do greater things for yes, you. Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He's there to deliver you for the forgiveness of your sin. You must be assured, as a child of God, you are rest assured that what your sins are no longer remembered by God. They are no longer what remembered by God because of the blood that was shed on Calvary. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It wipes away every sin and is able to cleanse us of every what unrighteousness. Able to cleanse us what of every unrighteousness. That's why the Bible says, I mean, I mean, proposes what as often as we can do it. Because it's a, it's a way we what a purify ourselves, mm. is a way we sanctify ourselves, is a way that what we immunize ourselves. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Colossians chapter 1, verse 13 and 14. He has delivered us from the power of what darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of his son, of, uh, of the son of his love, mm -hmm. in whom we have redemption through the, his blood, the forgiveness of what sins, in whom we have what redemption. We are redeemed by the blood. Amen. When you take the, when you take the wine, you must remember. That the blood of Jesus was shed mm. to redeem you. 
from what to the powers of darkness. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7. It says, In him we have redemption through the blood. Through his blood. The forgiveness of sins according to the riches of what his grace. In him we have what? What? Redemption through the blood. Through the blood. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So tonight is going to be a powerful night because when you take, when you take this, um, uh, um, when you take the bread and you take the wine tonight, you will see that there's going to be a difference in your life. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Sicknesses will begin to jump out of your body. Amen. Amen. They will begin to disappear because you are partaking of what? Of the, the of, of, of of the of the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Christ. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Sickness is you don't have anywhere any 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 business with your body. Amen. It doesn't have any business with your body. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So why are we why are we told to partake? As I, I say, uh, why are we told to partake of the Holy Communion? Why was Jesus telling us what to partake of the Holy Communion? The number one reason is that what it is a channel of what of healing and wholeness. Mm. Is a channel of what healing mm. and wholeness. Healing and wholeness. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Besides what being a child of God, being a Christian, the greatest gift that you can have is good health. Mm. I wish above all things that what you prosper. may what prosper. prosper. Even as what your soul prosper. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So good health is a gift. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And the communion, what is a channel for what? Receiving healing and what wholeness. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Can we all open to Psalm, Psalm 105? Please can you open to it. Psalm 105 and verse 37. Psalm 105 and verse 37. Hallelujah. It talks about what when God led them out of Egypt. That's what he's talking about. He says when God led them out of Egypt, none of them were feeble and none of what them were sick. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Psalm 105 verse 37. He says none of them were feeble and none of them were what sick. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Psalm 105, verse 37. It says, He brought out Israel laden with silver and gold. Supernatural favor. We are going to talk about that. Supernatural. He says, He brought out Israel laden with what? Silver and gold. Among and from among their tribes, no one faltered. This one says faltered, but I like some other version. He says none of them what were feeble or none were sick. None of them were feeble, none were sick. What did they do? They partook what of what? The holy communion in the old as it was in the old testament. The Bible tells us in Exodus chapter 12, before that night, before the angel, the destroyer came, the angel of death came, he says to them, what? Kill the ram, the, 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 uh, uh, the lamb, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Sacrifice the lamb. He says, the blood of the lamb put on your what? Doorpost. He says, the ram itself for the lamb, he says what? To roast it and eat it. He says to roast it and eat it with what? Unleavened bread. That was the first communion that was taking place. He says roast it and what? Eat it with what? The unleavened bread. And he says when they ate it, he says, he says before, if you read the properly, he says why you are, how you are going to eat this uh, uh, food is that your cloak will be tucked in and your sandals, he says, will be ready on your feet. 
prepared that that prepared them what for a, a, a glorious outgoing from Egypt. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, as they went out, none of them faltered, none of them were feeble, none of them were sick. If the ram or lamb, if the lamb, or the old Passover lamb, could do that for the people, how much more would the past Christ being the Passover lamb, the new lamb? Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The Lamb of God being Jesus Christ. How much more will his blood do for you? If the blood of the Lamb could protect the people in those days, that means that you are covered in every area. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. By the power of the blood. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Another thing why the, 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 uh, uh, Jesus was telling us to, to, to partake of what the, uh, uh, of the Holy Communion is that it brings about what it, an enlightenment. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Supernatural what? Enlightenment. It opens our eyes. The things that our eyes have been closed to, it opens our eyes to see clearly. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And that's why today, once you take that uh, 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 communion, you find out that your eyes will begin to see what you have not seen before. Amen. Those great treasures, those great death, those great things that you are supposed to have achieved, you will begin to see them. Amen. Because what the eyes will be opened. Amen. Luke 24 from verse 16. Luke 24 from verse 16. This shows us that what Jesus was the first person to perform the new communion. The new communion. Before his death and after his death. The first communion after his death was performed here. He says the two people were walking down after his burial and everything. They came there. They couldn't find him. And two were walking to Emmanuel. And when they were going, someone appeared to them and was telling them, what are you discussing? They didn't know it was Jesus. But they were wondering, who is this stranger that doesn't even know what has happened? They asked him, don't you, you don't, didn't you hear what happened? The Jesus that had been, uh, has been crucified, Messiah that has been crucified, you didn't hear about it? He says, ah, ah, you people, why, why, you, why do you fail to believe? Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And he began to explain everything that happened to them. And at the Bible says, at a point in time, when they got to the town, they said, Please, Jesus, stay with us. You can't go, and, because Jesus said he was going further. But they said, stay with us tonight and eat with us. At the point of eating, the Bible says, he took the bread and he broke it. He took the bread and he broke it. That's Luke 24 from verse 16. Reading downward, he says, he took the bread and he broke the bread. He says, immediately he broke the bread. Their eyes were opened and they could see that it was Jesus. As they saw it was Jesus, he disappeared. As, he saw, as they saw that it was Jesus, he disappeared. But their eyes opened. The things they, who they could not recognize before, they recognized. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The, 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 the good things that you have been missing because of what veils over the eyes. Today, when you take all this communion, your eyes will open. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Your eyes will open. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And another reason why he has told, told us to take the communion is just for us to be conscious of what he accomplished on the cross. For what he has accomplished on the cross. Our redemption. To, for us to be conscious of it. Of our redemption. That something happened. That translated me from what? Darkness into light. That something happened on the cross. That translated my life from what? That I had the opportunity from translating from darkness into light. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That is why today when you partake in what the, the bread, you'll be declaring what good health upon yourself. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because Jesus 
the, the body that Jesus carried on this planet earth suffered no sickness and suffered no disease. Mm. And that is what is meant for you as a child of God, as somebody who has what given his life to Christ. Mm. Sickness is not your portion. Mm. Sickness is not your portion. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And as you partake of the wine, you'll be declaring that what? The blood of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible tells us what? That by the blood we overcome. It says we overcome by the blood and what? The word of our testimony. We overcome by the blood. We overcome by. So somebody is going to become what? An overcomer from Amen. the day. Amen. Amen. Be able to overcome any what? Sickness or evil that comes your way, Amen. an overcomer. When you Amen. take this, what you you you, you become supercharged, Amen. overcomer. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And as we partake of the wine, because of the redemption, because of the forgiveness of sins, we are able. You realize that you are able to stand before God. You are able to approach God. Boldly approach his throne boldly. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus does not see the sin. He sees your sin no more because of what? The blood of Jesus that was shed on Calvary. Amen. He sees your sin no more. He sees you as what? A righteous. A, a righteous one. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He sees you as his son. He sees you as a heir to Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So what are the benefits? What are the benefits of the communion? Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We are going to just look at uh, just a few benefits. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Number one is that what? <coughs> it heals diseases. It heals incurable what? Diseases. Praise the name of the Lord. There are Amen. testimonies of people healed by just taking what the holy communion praise the name of the lord amen is a supernatural healer a supernatural channel for healing and wholeness praise the name of the lord amen. number number two is that it, it is a coverage for what of divine protection just the way he protected what the children of israel as they were coming out of egypt the same protection you have when you take what the 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 the, uh, the communion, praise the name of the Lord, Amen. and even more, and even more than what it did in the Old Testament, because it has to do with Christ. Number three is that what it gives life, it gives life. John chapter five verse, John chapter six verse fifty three. Says why well, when you take the a bread and when you take the wine, you have life. Amen. You have life. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Number four is that you would begin to dwell with God. You have a supernatural presence of God Amen. with you. You take the bread, you take the wine, John chapter 6, in John chapter, he says, when you take it, you dwell in him. And he says, I dwell also in you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Verse 5, as I say, it opened closed doors, closed eyes, closed doors. It, it just gives a way. It makes a way for you. Where there is no way. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It makes the crooked way straight. It makes everything become pure before you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Then it brings what's revival to an individual. It brings revival to us. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It supercharges us what, as what a Christian, as a child of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It reminds us of who we are. It reminds of what of what God has done for us. Taking us from darkness, taking us from eternal damnation into what eternal life. It just reminds you of that and gives you that joy and, and hope. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And number, uh, I think it's number seven, praise the name of the Lord, Amen. is that it gives us supernatural favor. And Egypt came out laden with gold and silver. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Why? Because of supernatural favor that the Passover gave them, that the Holy Communion gave them. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we're going to take the bread. Are we? 
We go ahead. We go ahead. Hallelujah. Amen. Going to take the bread. I want you to hold your bread in your hand. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hold your bread in your hand. And you repeat after me. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Uh, serve the wine. Serve the... Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, serve the... Wine. Hallelujah. Amen. Hold your bread in your hand and you repeat after me. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to say, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for the gift of your son. For the gift of by the stripes that fell on his back, my body is healed from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Every cell, every organ, and every function of my body, and every function of my body, every part of my body, every part of my is healed. Is healed. Is restored. Is restored. And renewed. And renewed. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. As I take this, uh, as I take the bread. As I take the bread. And eat the bread. Say a big hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want you to take the cup in your hand. And I want you to take the cup in your hand. And you say after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you for your precious blood. Thank you for your precious blood. Your sin free. Your sin free. Your disease free. Your disease free. Your poverty free. Your poverty free. Life is in your blood. Life is in your blood. And you, you, you shed blood. Your shed blood. And your shed blood has removed every sin from my life. Has removed every sin from my life. Through your blood. Through your blood. I am forgiven of all my sins. I am forgiven of all my sins. Past, present, and future. Past, present, and future. And made completely righteous. And made completely righteous. Today I celebrate. Today I celebrate. And I partake of the inheritance of the Lord's righteous. And partake of the inheritance of the Lord's righteous. Righteousness. Which is uh, which is preservation, which is preservation, healing, healing, wholeness, wholeness and, provision. and provision. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Now you can drink the one. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, today I declare healing for you on every side. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare that by the power of the of the of the blood that you will overcome. Amen. In every area of your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. And we give you all the glory. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. I hand over to the apostle. To apostle. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Amen. the name of the Amen. Lord. We, we continue as uh, you know, apostle has already you know ministered to us. I want you to continue to say, as I have taken the bread and the wine. As, as I have taken, taken the bread and the wine. wine. I have healing and I have wholeness. I have, I have healing, healing and I have wholeness. wholeness. As I've taken the bread and the wine, as I've taken, taken the bread and the wine, I have supernatural enlightenment. I have, I have supernatural, supernatural enlightenment. As I've taken the bread and the wine, as I've taken the bread and the wine, I'm conscious of, I'm conscious of my redemptive life. I'm conscious of my redemptive life. As I've taken the bread and wine, as I've taken the bread and wine. Overcoming supernatural power is upon me. Overcoming supernatural power is upon me. As I've taken the bread and the wine. As I've taken the bread and the wine. God will make a way for me where there seems to be no way. God will make a way for me where there seems to be no way. As I've taken the bread and the wine. As I've taken the bread and the wine. 
Revival has started in my life. Revival, Revival has started, started in my life. life. Supernatural favor is mine. Supernatural, Supernatural favor is mine. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Just begin to speak in tongues. In the name of Jesus, oh God, so shall it be for me, for my sons, for my daughters, for my brothers, for my sisters, for every member of the family to hold right now. Oh God, that's one right now. So shall it be for my world, so shall it be your God, for America, for Europe, for Africa, so shall it be for Australia, so shall it be your God, the mighty Lord, for Ireland, for Ireland, for God, so shall it be my Lord, for Ireland, for Ireland. So shall it be for my Lord in the name of Jesus. It is a wholeness all over. It is a wholeness all over the world. It is a wholeness in the name of Jesus. In the name of Guru Kotiya, Lady Jackie Marabaya, Ebro Kondo Sitiya. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, Amen. beloved, you remember on that same day, Amen. Jesus washed the feet of his disciples. Mm -hmm. If you have not washed your feet, when we finish, you go and wash your feet. So, if after washing the feet, these are the prayers we are going to be praying. I'm going to be praying if you want, you can touch your feet. If you want, you can, you know, touch your feet. Say, Father. 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 Every dirty feet. Every dirty feet. They washed away now. They washed away now. Every area my feet is dirty. Every area my feet is dirty. Physically, spiritually, emotionally, and otherwise. Be washed now. Be washed now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, we wash the feet of all the men and women. Come on, begin to wash the feet. Begin, begin to wash the feet of everyone around us. Every dirty feet of God Almighty is be washed. Every dirty feet of our brothers and sisters is be washed today by the blood of Jesus Christ. Every dirty feet of oh God Almighty, of every member of our church ministry, be washed now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every dirty feet of God, of our world, in the name of Jesus, be washed, be washed, be washed, be washed. Be made clean today by the blood of the Lamb. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Brother, I want us to continue. You know, I'm going to mention the 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 things you're going to be washing. Apart from our dirty feet, we are going to wash every tired feet. Mm -hmm. If your feet is tired, today as we wash it, your feet will get strength. Amen. Amen. If your feet is bruised, as we wash it, your feet will be healed. Amen. If your feet betrays Jesus, as we wash your feet, you will not betray Jesus anymore. Amen. If you have denied Jesus before, as you wash your feet, you will not deny Jesus anymore. Amen. If you are always running into crisis, as you wash your feet, you will not run into crisis anymore. Amen. If you have not been following Jesus, if you have been running away from Jesus, as we wash your feet, you will follow Jesus. Amen. You will run to him Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you have not been bringing good news, as we wash your feet, your feet will be feet that will bring good news. Amen. No more bad news Amen. in the name of 
Lord Jesus. Amen. Now begin to claim all those. Uh, your feet will not be tired. Your feet will not be bruised. Your feet will not deny Jesus. Your feet will not betray Jesus. Your feet will not run into crisis. Your feet will not will not run away from Jesus. Your feet will bring good news. Oh, Raja, get I touch my feet to God. The feet of my sons and my daughters. The feet of God of my husband. The feet of God of every member of the church ministry. Worldwide of God. Every tired feet in Jesus' name receive strength. Let's check it out. Every bruised feet of God. We say we healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every feet of God Almighty that brings bad news and change to a feet of good news in the name of Jesus. Every feet that is running away from the Lord Jesus Christ. Run to the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Every feet that denies Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to love Jesus. No more betrayer. No more denier. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Finally, we are going to anoint ourselves. I know you have the anointing oil. So we have to anoint, we have to anoint ourselves by his mercy. If you don't have anointing oil, when we finish, you go and get anointing oil. So anoint yourself in the name of Jesus. And we anoint our word in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anoint yourself before we pray. Malakura seketeya. Ere bara bara bara. Oro mozi kete de 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 de. Ere makura basi kete ya. Ere masi kete ya. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oro riba kinda la 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 la. Ere makuri ya. Ere bara bara. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As we have anointed ourselves. The Bible says anointing breaks every yoke. Every yoke in our life is broken today by the reason of the anointing. So the anointing your life, you every yoke, I command you be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. And we begin to say the benefit of the death of Christ on the cross of Calvary, let it become manifest in our life in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to experience an exploding power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Once your anointed power comes, once your anointed power comes, you say you will receive the anointing after the you will receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Now I want you to begin to receive the power, 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 power. Let that power come upon you like never before in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, Libra
Let's begin to give him thanks. Oh, I see the angels waving. Oh, I see angelic hosts. I see a great release of angels. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. They are bringing good tidings to you. They are bringing good tidings to me. I see the angels are released and are dispatched in great measure. Oh, Rasikata, just give him praise. Oh, you receive good news. You're going to receive good news. You're going to receive good news. We are going to receive good news. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Riva Kura Tekaya. Oh, the angels have been released. In the name of Jesus Christ. To favor us. To favor us. To show us kindness in every area. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for your show mercies, O God. We thank you for your kindness, O God. We thank you, O God, upon us, upon our sons, upon our daughters, upon our husbands, upon our wives, upon our nations, upon our generation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you for the release of good news. Great joy, O God. Everywhere where there is sorrow, sorrow is done away. And joy, O God, has come, O God. Yes, God. You say sorrow may last for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Oh, the anointing has come. In the name of Jesus Christ, no more sorrow. Joy has come. Our joy has come. In the name of Jesus, oh, we speak joy to the whole world. We give you praise, O God, for so shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord honor you all greatly. Amen. It's always a great joy and a great honor Same. to pray with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Before we go, we, we close for today. We just want apostles to just round up with a word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Shall we open our Bibles to just Amen. Hebrews chapter 1? Hebrews chapter 1 and from verse 3. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3. Hebrews 1 verse 3. Hebrews 1 verse 3. And this is what the word of the Lord says. From verse 1 it was talking about Jesus, and he gets to verse 3, and he says, Who being what? The brightness of his glory. Mm. Who being what? The brightness of his glory. glory. And the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself put our sins sat down at the right hand of the majesty of the majesty on high mm -hmm. praise the name of the amen. lord mm. hallelujah amen but what touches me there is who being the brightness what of oh, his glory, glory. Yeah. there is glory and there's what the brightness yes. of the glory yes lord. praise the name of the lord amen. and that is why from today i decree and I declare Amen, Lord. that somebody's destiny is going to be brighter Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody's career is going to receive brightness Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody's academic work is going to receive brightness Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody's child is going to receive brightness Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your life will be brighter Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. He says, He who being what the brightness of his glory. Yes, Lord. If that if the spirit of that person is in us, that means we must shine out the brightness of God's glory. Amen. And I, I decree that upon your life today. Amen. That you will shine out the brightness of his glory. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. When people see you, they will know that this person has what partaken with God, has sat with God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You see what happened to, to, uh, 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 to Moses. When he went to the top of the mountain and he sat with God, 
When he was coming down, there was something that was radiating yes. out of him. Yes. It was glory. That's the brightness of what caused glory. Amen. Yes. Same thing in the time of transfiguration. Yes. That is the brightness of glory. Yes, Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I decree that upon your life today. Amen. That you shall what display. Yes. You shall radiate. Amen. You shall reflect Amen. the brightness of his glory. Amen. Just as his son did. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you all. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. Bless you all. Congratulations. Have a wonderful Hallelujah. April. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And a wonderful Hallelujah. 2020. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The brightness of His glory Hallelujah. continue to shine upon us. God bless you. Love you all. God bless you. God bless you. The brightness of His glory. Hallelujah. Shine in the brightness of His glory. Shine, shine, shine in the brightness of His glory.